Today, I'm going to show you how to build multiple product workflows that will allow you to use OpenAI to generate multiple print-on-demand products simultaneously and then publish them to the same store or even completely different stores. For those of you who are just now tuning into this video series, you might want to check out the rest of the videos in this series if you haven't. I have links down in the description or check out my channel right here and I've got my first video very important shows all the basics of these workflows if you need to backtrack and maybe catch up a little bit like recently when OpenAI's API update broke all my workflows and I had to go in and fix them made a video about that and I've got all the links to the stuff you need the platforms that I use down in the description so with all that said Let's dig in. So first, I'm going to log into my Wonder account. This is where I go for the copy-paste workflows that make things way easier on myself. I've got a link down in the description that'll get you a seven-day free trial only available through Automated Income Lifestyle. So I'm going to go over to my Workflows menu, Premium Workflows, and I want to snag an all-over print t-shirt workflow. I don't want the crew Wait, that's not crew, that's cut and sew tea. I do believe that is what I want. Let me make sure. Yep. So I'm going to grab the t-shirt and then I'm going to grab the hoodie. Let's copy that. That's the dolly version. Then I'm going to go over into my make account and sign in over there and create a new scenario. And all I have to do, paste. Boom, there's the workflow. I got to modify it a little bit for my tastes, but let's go back and grab the hoodie. Where is the Dolly hoodie? Unisex pullover hoodie, Dolly. There we go. Paste. We really only need duplicates of the Printify Create a Product modules and the OpenAI Text Completion modules. So I'm going to get rid of all the redundancy real quick. Don't need a duplicate Google Sheets. Only need one generated image. Only need one upload an image. I don't use these, the Publish a Product modules. I spoke about this in my first video. I prefer to publish in draft state, which is what create a product does. I don't want to push them to my website, so I just don't use those two modules. Totally optional. So now I'm going to connect these in a single chain and add a couple other modules. First, I'll take this little timing module over to the beginning of the chain. And we'll connect those over here. There we go. Then I'm going to start disconnecting where I want to add things. I'm going to disconnect that. And this is mostly a matter of my organization right now. I'm setting it up the way I want it to flow in my head. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to copy the modules that I've already set up from other scenarios I've made and paste them here to save myself some time. Now I'm going to go to all over prints. Let's go to my hoodie. And the module that I need to copy is the image scaler. So I'm going to right click and copy module. And then let's go back to the scenario I was just creating. Now I'm going to paste the HTTP module I just copied and drop it into place. And now I need to get rid of that. So we have one generate a title, two generate descriptions, and the order here kind of matters. I need to put my generate a title before I upload my image. So if you can see where it says file name, if I hover over that, the module that it is using starts pulsating. This one right here, it is pulling the file name from the generated name here. So what would happen if this module was all the way over here? Well, what's going to happen the first time you ever run the process, it's probably going to fail because nothing was generated for it to pull from. So right here, it's looking for the image URL that's generated right here. 
And so we're going to have to run this process and get that value. I bet it won't be here. So look, I want to assign. Yeah, it doesn't have the full path. It's data URL. But to get that, I'm going to have to run this process one time. So let me run it and let it fail. Sometimes you have to do this to get the value that you need to click on to be present. Here we go. It's generating our URL. Then it's going to fail at Printify because it does not have the full path. It's just got data. Now we have to delete that, get data, and output URL. It's kind of lame that it doesn't show us that, but I think it's because we can choose different types of output. So it doesn't exactly know what to put there. But you always have to kind of run processes before you actually get them running so that you can fill out all the fields and make. All right. And we have generated description twice. I'm going to link those. And then I have my create a t-shirt and create a hoodie one after the other. Now let's run this process again. Let me save. Uh, it's still telling me my module has changes I need to save. When it does that, it wants you to open up the module that's got the indicator, which is this little black circle. Click on it. Hit OK. Now save. Then let's run it and let's see what happens. Looks like it created two products. Let's pop on over to my Printify and refresh my product list. And there we go. Entropy Nexus. It created both a t-shirt and a hoodie that is matching. Looks like it's overusing the word Nexus. So in another video, I'm going to go through modifying my prompts so that I don't keep getting the same repeated nonsense terms. It kind of gets boring. So let's go back over to make. And I'm going to set the intervals that I want to run this process. And I've already loaded up my store. I don't really want to just load it up with new items every 10 minutes. So what I want to do now and this is totally optional, by the way. If your method is to blast out thousands of products just so that you get the volume out there and Google scrapes you more, you know, that, that might very well be viable. So I'm going to do every day and generate a new hoodie and a new t-shirt every day. And I'm going to have some kind of a model where I show, you know, showcase the newest thing every day on my social profiles and keep it to like one post a day. I'm going to save. And now it's set to run every day. If you want to add more modules to this workflow and add more products, all you have to do is copy paste them, add them to the chain. I recommend doing them sequentially. There are certain features of make, like we have a signal router that can spray them at the same time. I recommend keeping it all sequential. I tried to set my scenario up with a router aggregator at first, but unfortunately what happened is I would encounter errors sometimes. My only conclusion is that Printify doesn't like it when you have simultaneous connections going, trying to upload images all at the same time. The system would be much happier if you would upload one product at a time. This workflow right here can also be extended it really as long as you want it to be. I'm generating one title and one image that I'm applying to multiple products. You could also modify this to generate multiple titles, multiple images, and spit them into multiple products. You could even publish to multiple stores. And I want to show you how to do that real quick. It's actually pretty easy. So first, we're going to go over to our Printify account. If you haven't already created multiple stores, you would need to do so. Printify, you can create as many stores as you want under your Printify account, and each different store can connect to a different platform, and it walks you through that when you're setting it up. So right now I have my main website, but I could create a new store, point that and connect it to my eBay store, and then I would go back into my make scenario. I'm going to copy this module. I'm going to paste, connect them in sequence, and now I'm going to connect this to my eBay store instead. So instead of Motherfunker, I'm going to grab Scolomonts, which is one of my eBay stores, hit OK, and that's it. Now it's going to publish it to my website, and then it's going to also publish it to my eBay store. If you have any questions or you have any trouble, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll respond back. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, smash that notification button, and thank you very much. See you next time.